Hi guys, it's Hi and welcome or welcome back to my channel. It has been a very long time. Um, I don't know if I'm going to upload a video before I upload this, but this is my first time filming again. So, I'm sorry for being away for so long. I'm going to explain that in another video. But if you've been to my channel before, then you probably know that I'm a senior in high school. So, today is actually my senior prom. Um, it is Friday. Uh -huh. Okay, we're safe. Uh-huh. Today is Friday, April 12th, and I need to get ready. If you can hear the AC in the background, I'm so sorry. I'm not about to sweat while getting ready. Um, it's 4.36, so it's a little earlier than I planned to get ready, but I mean, um, it's good because I didn't really take into consideration everything I'm going to be doing. So if you read the title, then you know this is a get ready with me, and I'm going to be getting ready for my senior prom, as I said. And I'm going to be doing my makeup, hair, and I'm going to show you my dress and my heels. Um, I'm so last minute. I literally got my hair cut today. And I mean, it's great and stuff. I didn't get it done because I like to do it myself, but I got it cut. Does that make sense? I didn't get it styled, but I got it cut because I like to style it myself, especially for events. And I know you guys have been begging me for a how do I style my hair video. I promise when I get my life together, I'll upload that. But until then, I'm gonna start off with my hair. This would probably be a good chance to show you how I do my hair, except I kinda wanna do an in-depth video about it. So I'm sorry, this is gonna be really boring. I'm gonna fast forward through it. So uh, yeah, also I'm gonna spray some rose water. This is just plain rose water that I'm spraying on my face. No brand, no nothing, just rose water. I'm gonna go ahead and start with my hair. I'm not gonna voice over this or explain anything. You can just watch. Hopefully that'll be good enough. Otherwise, subscribe and watch out for how I style my hair, okay? So I'm gonna talk to you when I'm uh, done with this, okay. <laughs> not doing it for me it keeps flipping so I'm gonna go wet that hashtag lazy girl lazy short hair girl hacks my sister's in the bathroom and I'm not bothered to wait that long so there's water right here so I'm gonna do that this is a how not to style your hair 101 video let's do this watching this thinking what is what the heck is this girl doing um just a disclaimer i haven't like used a blow dryer in forever because i've just been straightening my hair when i want it straight because my hair has been really long point is i'm just not used to using this okay hi <laughs> with the Kiehl's Ultra Facial Cream. I'm gonna do my sister's eyeshadow. I'm not gonna include that here because she doesn't want to be included in this video. Pro tip, always moisturize your skin. Not that I've been doing that enough lately because my life's a little uh, messy. It's okay. I'm gonna be using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade in Soft Brown. And I'm gonna use the Anastasia Beverly Hills, okay, it's, it's the eyebrow brush, I don't know what it's called, okay. I actually got um, my eyebrows started for the first time in so long today, today, I'm just so last minute with everything I do, my teachers are probably very aware of that, but um, it's okay, no, it's, actually it's not okay, point is, back to my story, I got my eyebrows started for the first time, you only have an hour, I don't think you should be filming right now. No, I don't. Don't press me out like that. I do. No, I don't. 
Point is, I usually do my eyebrows myself, and for the first time, I actually trusted someone today. Not because I wanted to trust them, but because I just felt like I didn't have time to like come back home and like do them myself. To set my eyebrow, I'm going to be using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Clear Brow Gel. I'm not gonna put that in. To clean up my eyebrows, I am using the Wet n Wild um, Photo Focus Concealer in the shade Light Ivory. I'm gonna go ahead and prime my eyes with the same concealer I used earlier. I like priming my eyes with concealer because it covers the veins. I know a lot of people don't like to set the concealer because it makes the colors just appear more vibrant, but I actually like to when I wanna go for like a look that's more natural. I just like to set it with a bright powder so that the eyeshadows are still vibrant but not too vibrant the way it would have been if I didn't set it with powder but didn't set the concealer with powder hope that makes sense so to set my concealer I just used the Benefit Hello Flawless um, powder in ivory I initially got that for my face but it was too light so for my look I'm going to be using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Soft Glam Eyeshadow Palette I'm going to start off with orange soda on a big fluffy brush I'm going to take the shade Burnt Orange with the same exact brush and I'm going to use that as my transition shade like my transition transition shade that makes sense. Do you want to show them what your eyes look like? I still have to clean the bottom because it's powdery and everything but this is the eyeliner, it's like an eyeliner but I need to like clean it up I did her eyeshadow, we ended up fixing it in the end I just redid it Okay, next I'm going to take a tapered blending brush and take the shade Sienna I'm going to put that on my crease I didn't practice this look before doing this so if it turns out bad just don't be surprised i'm putting this also in the outer corner a little bit because i'm going to do a half cut crease the next shade i'm going to be using is rustic with the same exact brush because the girl don't got time i'm going to place this on the outer corners Ooh, that's the wrong shade. next i'm going to take the same exact concealer i used earlier I'm going to put that on the back of my hand and I'm going to take the same exact brush which is the e.l.f. professional eyeliner brush and this is the brush I use to clean my eyebrows up I'm going to use this to cut my crease okay next I'm going to take sock balm I'm going to take a brush and I'm going to take the MAC Fix Plus for the brush and dip into the shade glistening after I have done that I'm going to take the tape blending brush and just clean it up a little bit I'm going to take um, a tinier brush and I'm going to take the shade Rustic and I'm going to really focus it on my outer corner. I'm going to go ahead and do the other eye. Let's look back. Now here is my big problem. Because I actually can do my face makeup really fast. Usually I wouldn't be stressing about such a time crunch when I'm still doing my eyeshadow. However, I decided that I want to put... Uh, eyelashes for prom and I don't remember the last time I put lashes on so I don't remember how to put them on um okay next up I'm gonna curl my lashes and use mascara I'm either gonna use this essence lash princess green one or purple one I haven't decided you'll see now today I went and got lashes and I couldn't decide what lashes I wanted today, so I got three different ones, and they're all from Pinky Goat. I got these ones called Amy. I got these faux mink ones. I got these faux mink ones called Lulu, which are a little too intense for me right now. And then finally, the ones that, I'm, that I've decided I'm going to actually use, decided too late, um, are Mia. So I'm going to use those. Okay, reverse plan. Okay, I don't know why I backed out on that because the lashes are pretty. I just don't think I can put them on. Why did I have to like be stupid and be like, oh, I want to do lashes. Like, how I just shut the scar down? I just used, I ended up going with the green one. I'm just going to use some CeraVe to prop my lips. Oh god, that's a lot. I am going to use Maybelline Master Prime Hydrating Primer. And I'm going to put this on my, I'm going to put this all over my face. Uh, next, I'm going to be using the Too Faced Poreless 
stay oh for this. Cut. I'm gonna put that on my chin and on my nose. <laughs> Next, I'm gonna take the Becca First Light Priming Filter. Um, and this is the purple one. I don't know if there's any other ones. Up, I'm gonna take this Lancome Cushion Highlighter. And what I'm gonna do with this is... I'm gonna take this with the cushion thing it comes with. And I'm gonna put that on the high points of my face. Just to add some glow. Do look glowy? Ooh! Yes! Okay. After I've done that, I'm gonna take my Beauty Blender and my Fenty Beauty Foundation Pro Filter Soft Matte Foundation in the shade 190. <coughs> To set my under eyes, I'm going to use the Laura Mercier Translucent Loose Setting Powder. Next, I'm going to take the Maybelline Fit Me Powder in the shade 115 Ivory, and I'm going to put that all over my face. I know this may seem like a lot of powder, but this just adds color to my face. When I take pictures, my face is going to have some sort of color to it and I'm not going to look like Casper the Ghost. By the way, I got a slight tan so my face might look a little white, okay? Next, I'm going to take the Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Fit in the shade Light oh to Medium. I'm going to take the center shade, I believe it's called Fawn, if I remember correctly. And I'm going to contour my face. It doesn't matter. I am using the Real Techniques buffing brush to blend out the contour type thing. So I'm going to take the Position Formula Butter Bronzer and I'm going to take this with a big oh brush. And I am going to bronze my face up a little bit. I'm contouring my nose with the contour palette I used earlier, the same shade I used. I just used the brush I used to set my eyes and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this Real Techniques Luxe Crease Brush and I'm gonna blend out the contour. Next I'm gonna take the Tarte Life of the Party Clay Blush Palette and I'm gonna take the shade Passport. It's so pretty. I'm gonna use that to give some color to my cheeks. Next, I'm going to take the Soft Glam Palette once again, and I'm going to go into the shade Burnt Orange, and I'm going to put that on my lower lash line. And then I'm going to take the shade Rustic, and I'm going to put that a little tighter, just to look a little more smoky. I'm going to go back to the same color I used earlier and do my lower lashes. I want to be all glowing tonight, so I'm going to take the Becca um, Shimmering Skin Perfector in the shade Opal. Okay, finally lips. I'm going to take the Makeup Forever Aqua Lip Lip Liner in the shade 3C and I'm going to line my lips. I'm going to take the Anastasia Beverly Hills Lip Gloss in the shade Undressed. Okay, that is my makeup done. I'm gonna go wear my dress, show you my dress, and that is it. Hi, future Yuya here. So, um, I'm at school, which is why I look like trash, but basically, what happened in this point of the video is that my mom and my sister were rushing out. My mom literally spilled foundation on my dress, which we got clean, thankfully. But point is, they were rushing too fast that I couldn't actually sit down and film my dress and my heels and all that stuff for you guys. So, I'm gonna just show you pictures. So this was my dress. It's just a black off-the-shoulder dress with a nice little slit. Um, I got it from JJ's house. Com. And then I just had regular pointy heels on. I believe the heels were from New Look, but I'm not exactly sure. And then my dress was from JJ'sHouse.com. They're actually really affordable, and this specific dress comes in many, many different colors. So I'm going to leave a link to it down below. I'm definitely not sponsored because I'm irrelevant. And then for my jewelry, 
I just wore um, the regular Pandora necklace I'm always wearing. And then for my earrings, I wore these earrings that I got from yeah. Aldo. That is my uh, outfit. Hope you like those pictures. Um, and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you made it up to this point, then I'm really, really proud of you because I probably wouldn't have made it up to this point. Uh, it got really boring to edit after a while, but I hope you enjoyed it regardless. If you did that, please click on that subscribe button below and give this video a thumbs up to let me know. And I will see you guys in my next video.